Hello my friend, I am MTS. In this video, we will create a RAG chatbot with your own documents using the brand new Llama 3 model from Meta AI. I'm super excited. Don't worry, if you're just starting out or your PC isn't the best, we're going to use Google Collab to run everything in the cloud. And guess what? It's open source. And I'll show you how to use Python code so easy that even your Grand Llama can do it. Get it? So here's the kicker. We'll test out the smaller yet mighty Llama 3 8 billion model. Ready for this? We'll ask questions from a document we uploaded as RAG vector data. Watch till the end because by the end of our session today, you'll see how you can get started with AI projects using Llama 3, which is absolutely open source and absolutely powerful. Building AI softwares are not limited to big tech companies anymore. You, my friend, have the power. Before we dive in, let's talk about Llama 3. It's an advanced large language model by Meta AI designed for a wide range of applications across various industries. It's accessible as an open source tool which enables developers, researchers, businesses to innovate and scale their AI solutions. Check this out. We are in the LLM arena where we stack up Llama 3 against giants like GPT-4. If you're not yet harnessing the power of AI in your projects, you're definitely missing out. That's why we encourage you to take the first step, start building, to make it Super accessible for everyone. I host free Python classes right in our school community. No programming expertise needed whatsoever. Llama 3 supports diverse applications from coding, data analysis to complex problem solving across different sectors like finance, healthcare, retail. But thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Now watch Llama 3 rise in rankings and rise to the top because it is all about the power of community going to dive into coding in a little bit and I'm going to give away this code for absolutely free so you can get started. Dive in, start learning and don't miss out on the AI revolution that is happening right now. An open source community can be a significant advantage for a model like Llama 3 in rising up to the leaderboard. An open source model allows for developers and researchers from around the globe to contribute to its development. This collaboration can lead to faster identification and fixing of bugs, more innovative features and overall improvement in the model's capability and performance. Are you already convinced the importance of having a community? Right now, 99% of people are ignoring the immense potential of AI. They're missing out on a transformation that's reshaping every industry from healthcare to finance. Imagine being part of the tech boom in the early 2000s or the rise of the internet in the 90s. This is your chance to be at the forefront of the next big revolution. Start today, join our free Python class in our school community and begin your journey into AI. Build your first chatbot using Llama 3 and see the difference it makes. The community will not be free forever. The first 100 people will get lifetime access. So don't miss out. And let's go dive into some Python coding now. If you're a beginner, don't worry. We'll get you up to speed to the, with the latest and greatest in Python for generative AI. I'll walk you through each block of the code. So first, we're going to install a couple of packages. Packages, as you know, is a collection of functions. Transformers is one of the key packages here, which is a library for working with pre-trained uh, language models. We also have the Llama index, which is a core library for building RAG frameworks. And I'm going to dive into RAG framework in a little bit. We also have the fast embed, which would be the embedding model. In order to create vector embeddings, we need an embedding model. And I'll talk about that as well. And then we have a G radio, which allows you to create quick chatbot prototypes. So we're going to install all these packages. I don't know why I have transformers again, twice. Okay. We install that. Then we, we set up the logging to track the progress and any potential issues. We also use the simple directory reader, which reads all the files within a specified directory. So I have a PDF file loaded up in my directory. It's a PDF file from University of San Francisco health insurance uh, website provide student health services information. So we're going to use this as our knowledge base and ask questions from this PDF file to see if the chatbot can accurately answer questions and using such a powerful yet small model like Llama 3. So let's go. All right, the third step is an embedding model and settings. So as you know, we are creating a RAG vector database. So let's go ahead and see what a RAG framework actually looks like. Okay, so you have a bunch of documents. In this case, we have the student health services document. It's going so chunks of the text will be sent over. So it'll be converted into chunks and then it'll be created to vector embeddings. And this is where we're going to use the embedding model to create those vector embeddings. 
once the embeddings are created it's going to be stored in a vector database so having it in a vector database allows for massive scaling and faster processing because the embeddings are pretty much the data in numerical representations which can be read by the computer pretty fast and what happens is when the user asks a prompt or a query the relevant text passages are going to be sent over from the vector database and combined with the prompt and then sent over to the LLM which will augment the LLM model as you know LLM models are trained generally on the internet but having additional context from your PDF files would augment its generative capabilities and it will give you a more concise and accurate result. If you want more information on how RAG works, I made another video, check that out. So once the embeddings are created, we're going to go to step four, which is prompt and hugging face integration. So this is where we write the system prompt. A prompt is a set of instructions provided to the assistant to help it answer certain questions. So you are a key assistant, your goal is to answer questions as accurately as possible, blah, blah. Then we use a query wrapper prompt, which uh, provides a prompt template to the assistant as well. Uh, we then use a hugging face login. So hugging face is a platform to store open source NLP models. NLP is natural language processing and it is the branch of machine learning that deals with LMs and other meta AI is available in hugging face as well. So you can go ahead and go to hugging face and you will have the option to access meta llama three read over. And this is where you're also going to apply. you will ask you for your name, email and uh, country or region. Just to fill out that form and you'll get instant access to meta llama three within hugging face. And then you're going to click the top right corner. In your profile click on settings and then click on access tokens you're going to get your hugging face access token from here go ahead and plug it in and then log in once login is successful step number five language model configuration this is where we set up tokenizer and stopping ids for the chosen language model in this case is meta llama 3 8b instruct we configure the hugging face llm with parameters like context window maximum new tokens and generation settings we define the system prompt, query wrapper, model names, device map, everything all here in the settings. We also set up the configured LM and chunk size in the setting. If you want to know more information about all these parameters, I'll make another video comment below if you would like more information. Let's read a little bit about uh, the Meta Llama 3. So Meta developed and released Meta Llama 3 family of large language models, the large collection of pre-trained and instruction tuned generative text models in 8 and 70 B sizes. The Llama 3 instruction tuned models are optimized for dialogue use cases and outperform many of the available open source chat models on common industry benchmarks. Here's some more information if you want to learn some more details about Llama 8B and 70B. Next step 6 is building the index and query engine. So this is part of the RAG process. We not only create the vector embeddings, we also need to index the uh, data so, th so that we can process them efficiently as well create the prediction function and the last step is we create the chatbot so the model is ready it's we set up a rag infrastructure and we used a google collab notebook to do all this and it looks like it used 12 gigabytes of gpu ram to get this up and running now to deploy this you could use another chatbot provider in the cloud that will be a lot faster but for the purposes of this video i'm just showing you how it looks like you can always optimize on the speed. Hello, how can I assist you today? F please feel free to ask questions you have about University of San Francisco. Okay, this is great because it understands that there is knowledge base attached to it. So it's going to answer any questions we have from the knowledge base. All right, so let's pick out a section from the document and see if the chatbot can answer questions from it. So we have a section here that talks about the coverage period, annually coverage start and end date. Let's see if our chatbot can answer this. According to the provided information, the annual coverage start date is August 1, 2020. And as you can see, the start date, August 1 to July 31st. And so basically it answered it correctly. Let's go to Meta AI and see what the website says. Build the future of AI with Meta Llama 3. Both 8 billion and 70 billion pre-trained and instruction tuned version to support a wide range of application. Now, depending on what country you are in, uh, you might be able to access Meta AI straight from your computer, kind of like a ChatGPT interface. So play around with that as well. 
Experience Llama 3 with Meta AI. We've integrated Llama 3 into Meta AI, our assistant that expands the way people can get things done. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now the benchmarks. Llama 3 models take data and scale to new heights. It's been trained on our two recently announced custom built 24K GPU clusters on over 15 trillion tokens of data. A trading data set seven times larger than the at use for Llama 2. Llama 2 is obsolete now. So if you're using Llama 3 and imagine what Meta AI can come up with next. It's just crazy how uh, fast and efficiently they're coming up with ML models. Very exciting to see what the future has in store for them. So Meta AI benchmarked the Llama 3 8 billion model, which is the open source smaller version of the Llama 3 model. It benchmarked it against Google's Gemma and uh, Mess Mistral. These are also open source models and Llama 3 just outperformed all of them. And there is also the Llama 3 70 billion, which is the larger model. And it performed in it all Gemini 1.5 Pro as well as Cloud 3 Sonnet. Now Cloud 3, I believe there's Opus, which is the premium version, which is a much more better model. I don't know why they didn't use that, but the link to the notebook is going to be in the description below. Download it. It's absolutely free. Adapt it to your needs. As you're downloading, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you found value in this video. Ignoring AI today could mean missing out on the digital gold rush of our era. While you hesitate, others are leveraging AI to innovate, streamline operations, and capture markets. Don't find yourself obsolete in a world moving forward at light speed. Take action now. The longer you wait, the further ahead the innovators will be. Secure your place in the future by starting with our free Python classes focused on building AI chatbots. Be a leader in the new frontier. This is MTLS, your thought partner to build, deploy, and sell GPT chatbots. So you've learned how to build a Rack chatbot using Llama 3 8 billion. Watch this video to get more details on how the RAG and Vector database work. Watch this video to see how you can create a streaming chatbot using OpenAI. GPT pioneers, let's go.